This is an Acer Nitro 5, one of the best budget laptops you can buy, and thanks to Acer sponsoring this video, I get the chance to show you around it. And thanks to the one month of PC Game Pass included with the machine, I'll give it a spin too. Let's start with the Nitro 5. This is one of their newest models, as it's rocking an RTX 4050 with 6GB of VRAM, an i5-12500H dodeca core, that's 4 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores, along with 16GB of RAM and 512GB of NVMe SSD space. Under the subtle but stylish clamshell lid is the 1080p 144Hz IPS panel, which is actually connected to both of the GPUs via a MUX switch, which helps reduce latency quite dramatically and can improve performance thanks to both the direct path for your frames, but also because the iGPU is disabled, which means even more power budget is available for the more gaming oriented components. You of course get plenty of RGB on the keyboard and the dedicated NitroSense key, which lets you quickly access the performance modes and fan settings. You've got plenty of I.O. too, including Intel Killer Wi-Fi 6 AX1650i, Gigabit Ethernet, three USB-A ports, one Type-C port that also acts as a Thunderbolt 4 port, DC in, audio out, and even an HDMI 2.1 port so you can connect this to any TV or monitor and enjoy gaming on the big screen. Taking a peek inside reveals the dual fan cooler, which allows a hefty 140 watt of total graphics power from the RTX 4050 laptop GPU, and what might surprise you is the fully upgradable RAM, which supports up to 32GB if you want to add a stick later on, along with a total of two M.2 SSD slots and a 2.5 inch drive slot, meaning you can grab a cheap 2.5 inch SSD and then chuck that in for extra storage. Not bad, right? So that's the laptop, now let's check out Game Pass. If you haven't already signed up, you might want to, as PC Game Pass lets you access hundreds of games all from one subscription. You even get an EA Play Pass included, so all of EA's games are available in the app too. Just fire up the Xbox app, claim your free month of Game Pass, and then pick a game and get playing. In fact, why don't we give that a go? I'm feeling like a bit of Forza. And we are in playing some Forza, uh, specifically Forza Horizon 5, which is the, the newest one, which is one of the nice things about Game Pass, because when I mean, we're playing a game that is brand new, basically. Uh, and it's running at, well, currently it's running at 30 FPS because we're in a cutscene, but uh, when actually playing the game, we're running at pretty much the top end of the refresh rate, 144 hertz, 144 FPS, which is fantastic. So as you can probably tell if you've played Forza Horizon 5 uh, yourself, uh, this is the what this is first main event, because uh, obviously I just booted this laptop up and just started using Game Pass, uh, and so we're uh, we're just playing the first one where apparently we're doing a sort of half well, sort of off-road rally, uh, and we're being live streamed by uh, Hercules uh, C130, <laughs> um, which is always a, a fun time, you know. <laughs> It's always difficult driving with keyboard and mouse, but I think the Forza, especially Forza Horizon games, do a pretty good job at being able to smooth those inputs out a little bit and make it still a, an enjoyable experience. And apparently we're gonna jump into the plane? Oh no, people are jumping out of the plane. Nice. Ooh. I messed up that corner. I take you back what I said about the whole um, keyboard uh, driving. <laughs> and that one. Ah, it's a rally car. Press the handbrake. Why didn't I think of that? Not my best driving. And I'm currently last in this race, apparently. I don't know if I'm racing the plane as well. It kinda seems like I am. <laughs> seems like a bit of an unfair fight, that one. Also, they're cutting the, the track. How, how is that fair? Mm. 
No, came in too hot on that one too. Don't run over the guy in the wingsuit. Don't run over the guy in the wingsuit. <laughs> oh, I finished first. Excellent. <laughs> I do quite like the new Corvette. The flat plane crank, V8, mid-engined. Looks a lot better than the old ones and it can actually handle nicely. Um, if you can't tell, I also run a car channel. Go check out at the wheel, link in the description. Um, but. It's safe to say that playing Forza Horizon 5 on this Nitro 5 is a pretty great experience. We're pretty much locked at the screen's refresh rate around 144 uh, FPS or 144 Hertz. So, uh, yeah, that's not bad. Let's try something a little bit more competitive. Okay, so we swapped over to Rainbow Six Siege, which is a game that I have a lot of hours in and uh, I enjoy quite a lot. Uh, although I haven't played it so much recently. Uh, but, the good news is that, as you might expect, uh, we're absolutely ripping through performance here. Uh, even on high settings, which might not necessarily be realistic for, uh, you know, competitive settings, we're still getting 170, 180 FPS in this room, which is not bad. My, uh, my favourite character to play in Siege is Sledge, and not just because he's Scottish. But it does help. <laughs> There's one, two, another one, one more. Where are they all? Well, there's one. Really need to reload. No, no, no. <laughs> Aha. See the reinforcements on the walls. Means they're hiding somewhere around here. Front room? No. Back room. Yes. Oh, behind me. Here's some shots. Oh, that didn't go well. Okay, not bad. Okay, so I thought I'd play one more game. And considering that the EA Play Pass is included as part of your Game Pass membership, and because Need for Speed Most Wanted was, I think, either my most favourite or the sort of tied with Star Wars Battlefront 2 title. I thought that I would give the new Need for Speed a go. We're just playing the prelude at the moment. I've grabbed Acer's controller to be able to give this a spin because it definitely prefers using a controller for this one. And we're in a, uh, well, technically it's a sprint race. Apparently this was them showing me around town, but um, it seems like my uh, my BRZ isn't quite as fast as, uh, as theirs. This is definitely sort of uh, more arcade handling, kind of like Forza actually. Although I must admit, I do quite like that they filmed so many like IRL clips because it definitely brings a, a layer of quality to the uh, to the game. This definitely has a lot more of a like a collaboratory community vibe compared to the original Need for Speed Most Wanted, which was very much like a rival. Was like you're here to take everybody's cars and you're here to you know like well take everybody's cars. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can catch up to the people who have much more upgraded cars. Apparently I can. MX-5. Is that an S-15? I mean, I just have to not be last, so that's good. Oh, I might be last now. Come on, come on. I wasn't last, excellent. Not bad. 
That was fantastic. Being able to play any one of uh, the hundreds of games available is a rather nice offer, and of course that's a great experience on this Nitro 5. It has plenty of power to play anything on Game Pass, while coming in at a decently budget price. If you're interested in finding out more about Acer's machines, including this Nitro 5, and PC Game Pass, check out the links in the description below. Of course, thank you to Acer for sponsoring this video, and thank you to you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, you can hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. You can also check out plenty of other videos on the end cards, and feel free to let me know what you think about Game Pass and the Nitro 5 in the comments down below as well. Otherwise, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, we'll see you all in the next video.